Thank you. You wanted to see me after class? Yes. Well, I'm here. Thank you. I'm gonna go now. Hey, loser! Just dropping by to make sure you and your team are ready to lose on Friday. Oh, you must have the wrong room. Mr. Young doesn't participate in anything requiring any sort of movement or muscle mass. Echo, this is Coach Nash from Western High. He coaches their engineering squad. Their undefeated engineering squad. Go, Boltman! <laughs> and we will remain undefeated after we wipe the floor with you at the paper airplane design competition. I'm supposed to be intimidated by the bald men? I work for a bald man. And let me tell you, he never wins at anything. <laughs> well, we happen to have a new transfer student on the team. Meet Yuki, an origami paper folding champion from Japan. <laughs> it's beautiful. And so fragrant. It's not fragrant. Give me that. Ow! This thing has thorns. I told you he was a champion. Well, this isn't a flower making competition. This is a man's game. Paper airplanes. <laughs> Big deal, so it floated out the window. the hall, knocked on your door, and landed in Yuki's strong, skilled hands. <laughs> See you at the competition. Bye, Yuki. <laughs> I'm done with your errands. Oh, good. You got my dry cleaning. Yeah. I got into a shouting match with the guy. He tried to charge me full turtleneck price for your mock turtleneck. <laughs> and I got your heel fixed. Thank goodness. I don't know how I've survived without these. magazines I wanted. Great! Ew! Look at this cover model. What is this, the pity issue? Oops, that's a financial magazine. I must have bought it by mistake. The world's hundred richest men? They're all a bunch of nerds. Of course they are. Who do you think goes on to create wildly successful dot-coms, invent must-have products, and start multi-million dollar companies? Cool kids? Nerds. Today's poorly dressed nerds or tomorrow's poorly dressed billionaires. I don't want to meet a billionaire. I need to meet a billionaire. Look how empty my jewelry locker is. <laughs> I don't even know why I bother locking it. All right, maggots, listen up. The paper airplane competition is only three days away. Losing is not an option. You know who loses? Losers! <laughs> Who here's a loser? <laughs> we have to crush Western High. We can't have another embarrassment like the robot you designed for the robot battle. I am Durbot. Fear my unstoppable robot power. Oops. Malfunction. Malfunction. Okay, let's see what you got. Now we're talking.
You guys are pathetic. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Ivy, what are you doing here? Meeting a future billionaire. Hi, boy. We're not here for fun and games. We're here to make paper airplanes. I'll make one. I'll just start by writing the flight number here on the side, which just might happen to also be my phone number. <laughs> I'm not very good at taking off. Unless you're talking about my sweater. <laughs> Ivy, we're trying to train here. You're in the way. They don't seem to mind. They don't seem to care. <laughs> Look at this trash. Oh, hey, that trash is my sister. <laughs> <sighs> Everything okay, Ivy? No. I just flirted with a bunch of nerds, and not one of them would give me the time of day. I know they have it. They all wear calculator watches. Of course they ignored you. Look at you. You're gorgeous. I know. You need to make yourself ugly. I would never do that. For millions of dollars? Go on. Those nerds see you as unattainable, so they don't bother trying. So that's what happened. I mean, I wasn't even on their radar, and I know they have that, too. <laughs> okay, class, guess what we're gonna learn today? Nothing. But that's what I learn every day. Since some of you won't bother to learn, I won't bother to teach. Then how am I gonna sleep? You're gonna throw my circadian rhythms all out of whack. <laughs> Wait, circadian rhythms? That sounds sciencey. <laughs> the point is, we're having a pop quiz. If you're mad at the nerds, why don't you just make them take the test? The rest of us could just sit around and laugh about how we talked you out of giving us the test. <laughs> you'll all take the test and you'll like it. No, we won't. You won't take it or you won't like it? Yes. <laughs> Whoa! Slab, that was amazing. <laughs> Spitballs, disgusting, <laughs> but amazing. Join the engineering squad. Forget it. First rule of nerd club, don't join nerd club. <laughs> but you're an incredible paper airplane maker. Yeah, you might even be as good as Yuki. Have you met Yuki? Yuki's really good. I think what Echo's trying to say is, we need you to win. No, I'm trying to say, Yuki's really good. Yuki. <laughs> Where did you even learn to make airplanes like that? Well, when I started high school, every time I got a test, I made it into an airplane. I guess I got pretty good after seven years. Come on, Slab. I'm sure the other engineering club members will welcome you with open arms. They'll be weak, but they'll be open. Where are the other engineering club members? Slab's not gonna hurt you. You can come out. I see you two are too good to bring snacks. <laughs> Come on, Slab. Why don't you show us one of your paper airplane designs? Okay.
Thanks for the really cool, uncool shirt, guys. Now I can always find Wi-Fi. Whatever that is. Hey, boys, check it out. I'm no longer out of your league. <laughs> Kirby, I don't get it. The nerds aren't interested in me, and I made myself way uglier. You did? Where? All over. I used an off-brand conditioner. This is last year's outfit, and my lips? I used lipstick, lip gloss, and lip plumper, but no lip liner. I mean, look at these lips. Who would want these? I don't know. <laughs> look, Ivy, you're not ugly enough to attract a nerd. I'm not? What do these people want? I'm down to like a nine. <laughs> and a half. <laughs> what else can I do? Don't worry. All you need is a little make under. What kind of hairspray is that? It's nonstick cooking spray. <laughs> Your hair's not nearly greasy enough. <laughs> okay, next, let's deal with your mustache situation. I don't have a mustache. No! You do now. <laughs> Great. Now go like this. Tooth yellowing strips. Take your teeth from eggshell white to rotten yolk yellow in a matter of hours. <laughs> Unless you'd rather go with the laser. <laughs> Oops. Hey! Give me your lunch. Now take my lunch. Tradesies. <laughs> hey! Lunch time is no time for lunch. The competition is tomorrow. Do you have the guts? What do you got for a slab? I've been thinking a lot about what design to use for tomorrow. And I realized something. I don't like thinking a lot. <laughs> anyway, how about this? The spy drone has made contact. Look at this anymore. <laughs> Thank you. Listen up, men. Paper airplane design is a team sport, so I want every single one of you to participate and staying out of Slab's way and letting him win. <laughs> well, hello there, fellow airplane enthusiast. We would like to lure you into the attic to show you our latest design. Who are you? Why, we're Wilbur and Orville, the Wright brothers. <laughs> Never heard of you. Though you do look like brothers. <laughs> we invented the airplane. Not ringing any bells. <laughs> You're a nerd on the engineering team. How is it you've never read about us? I'm newly nerdy. <laughs> well, ask that homely girl. She must spend a lot of time alone in the library. <laughs> you know who we are, don't you? Nuh-uh. And I don't have time for this. I'm looking for Mr. Wright. I'm Mr. Wright. <laughs> He's Mr. Wright. We're the Wright brothers. <laughs> We discovered that the aerodynamic principles of lift and drag could make human flight possible so long as one controls the three primary axes, the roll, the pitch, and the yaw. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> How did we get to the attic? Someone must have put us in here. 
can't believe those two nice gentlemen in old-fashioned clothes didn't try to stop them. We're locked in. Locked in? But I have a paper airplane competition in... Well, soon. I think. Or there's a dolphin nearby. I'm supposed to be at that nerd fest too. That place is crawling with guys who are gonna want some of this. Really? It doesn't matter. We're stuck in here. Dang! You go! Ah! Uh -huh. Out here! Why aren't you in here? The door is locked. I am not a magician. Hey, Adam. Echo. I didn't know you were interested in the fast-paced world of head-to-head -head engineering competitions. Oh, I am. So where's Yuki? He's right here. When did Yuki grow a mustache? I think it looks great. <clears throat> Along with being an engineering genius, Yuki also happens to be a world champion hair grower. He can grow a mustache, a goatee, a soul patch, <laughs> even bushy eyebrows. There, I've completely and believably explained the presence of the mustache. <laughs> so, where's your star player? He'll be here. You sure he didn't chicken out? Hey, no one on my team is a chicken. <laughs> He's an alternate. Can't you use your master key? How could master key help? Key is in Vietnam. Why would your key be in Vietnam? Oh, you meant my school key. I thought you meant my master. Key Fun Ren. Master key. No, we meant your master key to the school. Where is it? It's in Vietnam. I lent it to master key. But maybe there's another way out of the attic. The original school plans are in the archives at the other end of the building. Great. Well, go- Got them. <laughs> Help us. These are plans for some blue school. Wait, you're wrong. They can help us. Finnegan has the exact same design as this blue school. Wow. Okay, there should be. Yes, there's a hatch in the ceiling. I, I can't reach it. I know what to do. <laughs> It leads to the roof. So? Then we'll be stuck on the roof. I guess these school plans are useless after all. Not necessarily. You can't see my face now. But if you could, you'd see that an idea is dawning on me. And now I'm nodding. Where is he? Yuki? He's right over there. Hi, Yuki! I was talking about slab. Okay, Yuki. Bring the trophy home. My home. Star designer never showed. Yes, he did. <laughs> Looks like we win this time. 
Slab built a paper airplane that can carry human passengers. <laughs> Though, would it have killed you to hire a prettier flight attendant? Because they already have girlfriends. <laughs> you think you're the first girl to realize nerds end up billionaires? But, but, now I'm ugly. And attainable by me. So, let's go for dinner someplace dark. Because it's romantic? Sure, let's go with that. 